welcome to Heartland Family Adventures. Today we invite you to join us at one of our favorite Disney World lounges, La Cava del Tequila. This is a very small lounge located inside the Pyramid in the Epcot World Showcase Mexico Pavilion. Inside the Pyramid, you'll also find the Grand Fiesta Tour starring the three Caballeros attraction and a variety of shops and merchandise, as well as a full service restaurant, San Angel Inn. We recently visited this restaurant and shared a dining review of our experience. You can find a link to the review in the description below. La Cava is open daily from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. and is known for their large selection of more than 200 tequilas, as well as amazing cocktails, Mexican beer and wine. You can also enjoy tequila flights and inventive margaritas, including our personal favorite, the La Cava Avocado. You can also order light snacks such as chips, queso, salsa, and guacamole. If you're new to our channel, thanks for joining us today. If you like what you see, we welcome you to come and visit our channel for more dining reviews around Disney World. We'd love to hear from you, so let us know in the comments below if you've ever visited La Cava and what your favorite item on their menu is. We made our way over to the Mexico Pavilion. I think this is our favorite spot in Epcot. Yeah, I do Disagree. love it in here. Yeah. It's just beautiful. The San Anel restaurant that we did a review of that on our last trip. It was fantastic. I just Highly love that. that. If you haven't come in here, you didn't know there was a restaurant inside here too. Yeah. And the food was excellent. The food was excellent, the service was excellent, and the environment. And you can get the drinks from that restaurant. Same drinks as you can get yeah. at La Cava. I said that on the review, but I totally mean it. It's worth going there it's just going for the fact that you can get La Cava drinks there. Yeah. <laughs> but the and food was good and too. And you get to eat inside here, which is one of my favorite locations. Yeah. I just love it in here. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go do the ride. This is like old school Walt Imagineering, like this pyramid, the inside, the immersiveness. It's just magical. I love it. Yep. I hope they never change it. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go do three caballeros. Yeah, yeah. Grand Fiesta tour. I love this ride. It's such a cute ride. We do love this ride, but as an added bonus, frequently it's a walk-on. Here's the bayou, the Mexican bayou. No stand in head. Uh, especially if you can get a table overlooking the ride, there's just nothing better. Mm -hmm. Up here, the volcano will erupt occasionally. Yeah, it does. And if you pay attention, that smoke will actually make a hidden Mickey. Mm -hmm. There's Mickey one right now. <laughs> hidden Mickey. Some of the shops that were too scared to take the children in for obvious reasons. Look at that beautiful crystal. Oh my goodness. The Cinderella glass liquor. So yeah, pretty. Me and Tiara's. We found the slipper. Oh, I found the slipper. All oh, these little tiny figurines. Oh my goodness. So detailed. Yeah. Oh, these are beautiful. Oh, so tiny. I love the one with the little birds. Oh, so fragile. That made for jelly. Oh, some oh, jewelry. Some Rebus, Rebus Brothers. I like that one. Mm -hmm. That's Cinderella carriage. Let's let to take a look at these little birds. Aww, I love those. 
We got Coco merchandise. We got little Donald's plushies. Little Donald plushies. <laughs> Lots of Coco stuff. Yeah. These wood carvings are really neat. Now each one is handmade. I like him. <laughs> He's cute. These are wood carvings. Handmade wood carvings. That's beautiful. Ooh. Go Wait, really up to large some figures. larger ones. Yeah. Yeah. Very colorful. <laughs> I really like the Kava glassware. Just always too concerned about getting it home, but they are really cool. We have all these beautiful pottery, hand painted pottery down here. I love these posters. Look how beautiful the, the painting is. Oh, it. Yeah, $24 for these are a stack of six coasters. That's really, really pretty. You can always use new coasters. I know, I always new coasters. They have all different, all different styles. Really pretty and napkin holders and little chickens. <laughs> this is my favorite shirt. Yeah. You complete me. This is so true. Insider joke, if anybody has tried the Bacaba Aracado. <laughs> yep. This one's perfect for you, Dave. Yep. Like and we have done the tequila flight. <laughs> we have. It's it's so good. We do that again today. Yep. <laughs> we're here at La Cava. It's yeah. almost on the a couple minutes, so we're going to open up La Cava. Yeah. I'm excited to get, get some drinks. Start our day. <laughs> good morning. Cava is open. We can do a single grab and go. Table to two. Go right there. Thank you. Thank you. Very cool. So this is the first time we've ever gotten a table. They weren't doing it for quite a while. It's awesome. We can actually sit down in the kava. There it is. The kava avocado. We have dreams about this drink. We're also gonna try a new one today, though. We're gonna get the cucumber. I, I, I have actually received a recommendation from one of our followers to try the who like the cucumber. So I'm like, I'm gonna try it out today. It is so cozy in here. So I'm so excited. We got a table. We can sit down, have some drinks, have some chips and queso. Uh, it's so beautiful in here. They've got these beautiful peanut noodles. Yes. Yeah, of course, they have the bar. A lot of people went up to the bar to, you know, to watch the bartenders doing their craft. They're so they're so good at their jobs here. Um, but yeah, it's, it's beautiful if you can sit down at a nice little table and enjoy and, and relax. It's, it's so it's so it's so cool in here. I love the environment. Mm -hmm. Chips and salsa and queso. I love this little platter. It's made for sharing with the little the little holders that hold the salsa. That's awesome. I want one of those at home. And look at that, the delicious queso. Oh yes, yes please. <laughs> Some drinks. So tonight, we, today we got the cucumber. This is the Tromba Blanca tequila. Fresh cucumber, lime juice, orange liqueur, agave with a tajin chili lime powder rim. Looks delicious. This is a new one I'm trying today. I haven't tried this one before. One that we're very familiar with. <laughs> this is the La Cava Avocado. So this is the world famous avocado margarita. <laughs> one of our favorite, all time favorites. Trombo Blanca tequila. Melon liqueur, fresh avocado, lime juice, and a hibiscus salt rim. Oh, so, 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 so good. This is just like drinking pure happiness. <laughs> so good. Mm. So it's a frozen drink, but it's really, really smooth. So it's not like icy. It's really smooth and creamy. And you definitely get the melon. It don't really taste like avocado. I think the avocado still makes it so creamy. We taste, definitely taste the, the melon liqueur, hint of the tequila. I know it's there, but it's it's not in your face. And I love that hibis hibiscus salt rim. It's really really nice. It's, it's delicious. This is my favorite, maybe my favorite drink at a club. It's so good. Okay, try a new one. Yeah. So I've never tried the cucumber before, but somebody recommended it to me. It smells really good. It smells great cucumber. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. So this one's very, very light and refreshing. I think that's the, definitely the cucumber. It makes it taste very fresh. Like, 
you taste you taste the tequila, but it's not again not overpowering. The cucumber just makes it seem very refreshing. Like I feel like this is one you could just easily chug, <laughs> but you shouldn't because <laughs> it's just so so easy and drinkable. That's very nice. I like that one a lot. Yeah, maybe if the avocado avocado, avocado is too you know too heavy for you, this one, this one is super light. Yeah. Okay, so we also got the tequila flight. <laughs> Went in the cava. Yeah. <laughs> so he told us, he said, start with the second one. This is the Blanco. Work your way up to the Anejo. And then end with this one. This one is a, kind of a smoky. Yeah. Smoky it's one. Smoky, so he said it'll kind of mess up your palate. Yeah. So do that one last. So, <laughs> so go for it. All right, so Dave's going to try the cucumber. Let's see what you think of this one. Yeah, very, very, very cucumber. It's nice. Right. It's fresh by now, just like a fresh taste. It's very refreshing. Say, so if you like cucumber, this is probably a good one for you. Yeah. Not, you know, so not overly like, strong with the alcohol. It does a good job of yeah. blending that, that taste, but. Nice and fresh. I prefer the avocado still. Yeah, I do too. I but like maybe if this meat. one's not your thing and you want something a little bit lighter, this one's a nice option too. More like a traditional margarita, obviously, on the rocks. Only with cucumber. Yeah. yeah. But avocado. on the rocks option versus a, a frozen blended one. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. So our server is like, hey, you want to do some shots? <laughs> I'm like, oh, touch my arm. <laughs> of course. When La Cava. So this is the La Cava flight. So we start, we'll start, actually start off with the second one. This is the Sentinella Blanco, that is followed by a Trombo Reposado, the, and then this is the Ampar Anejo, and then we're gonna end with the Mezcal. So this is kind of a smoky one, so you wanna end on that one. So kind of start with the lightest, work our way up. <laughs> These are good sipping tequilas. Yeah, yeah, they're very, very good. So we've done this before, and we, we really, really enjoyed it, so like, well, let's try it again. It's a nice, uh, nice sipping tequila. So you don't have to just do the whole thing. You just kind of sip on it and enjoy it. So. The Blanco. It's nice. This is what a, a lot of the drinks have in them. It has the, it has the Blanco tequila. So, yeah, very good. Working our way up. Mm -hmm. I believe this one is the Reposado. Kind of a more like, golden color. Let's try again. Ooh, I like this one. This one's nice. I like that one. Yeah, I think you like the more golden. I think I do. Tequilas, yeah. I think if I can remember from last time, I liked the Reposado and the Anejo a lot. Yeah. I don't know if I'm as big of a mezcal fan, but we'll try. See. Yeah. Okay. I think of the more silver tequilas more as being stuff to mix in drinks personally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but these are good tequilas. So this one's very full. Cool. Right, so this is the Anejo. So oh, here we go. That one is so smooth. Come on, you don't even need the lime juice. That's so good. This is my favorite so far. So smooth. Okay, and then they'll end on the mezcal. Yeah. Woo. You can smell the smokiness. So, I don't think this is my favorite, but this one may be yours, Dave. Well, I'll try it. Yeah, I mean, to me it's like drinking a campfire. Not, not as much my thing, but, but some people really like the smokiness. <laughs> Alright, so we're here like, I don't know, it's not even maybe 15 minutes after they opened, I and mean, it's full in here now. This is how popular this place is. It's very small, but it's very popular. A lot of people drinking before noon. <laughs> Just like us. <laughs> okay, Dave's going for the Blanco. Start with the light and work your way up. It's very smooth. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I even I even say like with these tequilas, they're so good you don't even need the chaser. I don't need the lime. Yeah. Read it. If unless you want a little bit of lime to go with it, yeah. yeah. 
Okay, this is the Reposado. It's kind of the golden. I like this one a lot. Yeah. So the Blanco is very smooth, but it doesn't have as much flavor to me. Yeah. You know, I could just take that down. Mm -hmm. This has a much nicer flavor. Yeah. While still being smooth. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Yeah. It's a little bit of burn in the back of the throat, but nothing. Oh no. Nothing like the harsh. Not like fire. It's it's really really, really yeah. nice and smooth. This one I think was my favorite. The Anejo. <laughs> yeah, these these two especially, I wouldn't mind just having a, a glass of those, you know, and just sip on it. Yeah, it's nice sipping. Very, very nice. Right, last the mezcal. <laughs> this one, this one I needed the lime chaser because I just don't like the smokiness as much. It does, I mean, that's the only way to describe it. It's, it smells like fire, like a yeah. campfire. Yeah, campfire. And I'm not going to like it either. <laughs> I've had a lot of, um, we're a lot of scotches yes. this way if they're very yes. heaty. And I don't mind, I, I, it's good if there's a little bit of it, it's just too much. But. Yeah, a little bit of peat, a little bit of smokiness Dave likes, but this one is very smoky. Too much. <laughs> it's not terrible, I've had some scotches that are worse than this, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. But it's still too much of that smoky, like, Yeah. too much. Yeah. Not my favorite. Yeah. But chase it, chase it with some Lacava avocado, you, you won't notice it too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's now 11.30, it's about half an hour after the open, so to give you a tip, yeah, we were here, we literally got in line five minutes before the open, it's a Tuesday, granted, yeah. and there was one couple in front of us, and we were, so we got table no problem, half an hour after the open, it is completely full. I'm sure there's and people there waiting be, outside. There will be a line for this for Lacava all day today. Guaranteed. Yeah. Yep. So it's that popular. And it's usually okay. You can come and grab a drink to go. You have to wait a yeah. little bit for that even. Okay. But to get a table it can be a pretty long wait. Yeah. Okay, it's drink hack time. <laughs> this cow's a little potent on its own, but I'm going to try. <laughs> That's like a good hack, Dave. Have a, have a shot in there. We'll see how it is. <laughs> see if your hack worked. That's Better? Nice. <laughs> Mixed so, with the cucumber. That's nice. nice. Smoky, this is a very strong cucumber flavor, so. Oh, he likes it. He likes it, folks. Very nice. We are sadly almost finished with all of our drinks. We would lick all of that queso out of that bowl. It was so good. I definitely recommend the queso, chips and queso. Very good to go with the drinks. The cava was wonderful, as always. So, excited about this. Try not to trip walking down the pyramid. <laughs> After that tequila flight, you never know. <sighs> Doing okay. <laughs> we could use lunch, right? Yeah, now we, now we can get the food. We've never been to Tepanetto, so being be a new one for us. Excited to try this one out for the first time. Yeah. It's um, a teppanyaki style where they cook the food in front of you. So mm -hmm. I think it's kind of dinner and a show. Yeah, very similar to uh, Benihana. If you've yeah, one of those. yeah, exactly. But a Disney. So I'm, I'm guessing there's probably going to be a little bit of a Disney flair to to our meal. So um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. It's over in the Japan Pavilion. And so yep. we're going to make a lap around the World Showcase. Yep, uh, but yeah, that. highly recommend La Cava. If you if you like tequila, if you like uh, if you like margaritas. Highly recommend. It's such a wonderful experience, especially if you can get there early and get a little table. Uh, it's so much fun. Yep. So, and great, great service there too.